Hi, Jim Wagner here, your self-defense instructor. And today I'm in a gymnasium in a university in Paris, France. And with me, helping me, is David Nyet. He is one of my top uh, reality-based personal protection instructors in France. And also with me is Nicolas Marucci. He is my director for the reality-based system in Belgium, France, and he came down here to help. Now, we're going to use uh, air guns to simulate a shooting, a, a massacre, maybe an office shooting, a school shooting, and specifically what we're going to cover today is if the gunman is behind you and you need to flee, you need to run away. Now, what we need when we, whenever we use air guns is we need eye protection or a full face mask. So we're gonna put on this now so that we're safe in doing this exercise. Now that we have our safety equipment on, I have Nicola behind me, and he's the active shooter. He's a guy with a gun, in this case an air gun, with six millimeter plastic bullets, and he's going to be firing away at David over there, who is the poor victim. Now, this is a situation we all could find ourselves in, a movie theater, a school, a university like we're in now, or even an office setting and uh, he needs to learn how to survive this uh, scenario. Now, that didn't go so well. David made some fatal mistakes, and we're gonna show you uh, the mistakes he made and how we can improve upon the technique so he can survive. All right, now we're going to talk about when you're running away from the shooter, don't run in a linear direction or else he's going to hit you center mass. Now as David starts moving, you can see that in reality he's not even a moving target to the gun sights. Yes, he's moving away and getting smaller, but to the gun, he's static. He might as well be just standing there because that gun is not moving. It's in a straight line. All right, what we're going to do now is David's going to zigzag which a lot of people do, but the only problem is he's zigzagging too little and uh, basically easy target to hit. On the last technique, the big problem he made was being like a slalom skier going downhill. The zigzag was just way too tight. If you're going to do this, you have to be very effective and you have to use up all the space, but don't run in any particular diagonal more than two seconds. For a marksman with a pistol, it takes about two seconds to lock on a moving target and you got to be making that next zig or zag before the two seconds. He's going to try it again. Go. Now that I explained how the zigzag works, we're going to do our scenario now, full speed, full contact. So that's the end of our scenario and uh, what happened was this time when David started running, yes he got shot, he, when he came back he admitted he got shot, but it was uh, in the elbow, in the back of the arm. Because he's moving and he's making the shooter move the gun, the more that the shooter moves the gun, the more possibilities of mistakes. And of course, uh, he wants to hit uh, David in center mass. He wants to hit him straight in the back where the spinal cord is or the kidneys and or the back of the head. But because David moved and moved before he could get a good uh, sight picture, uh, he only got shot in the arm and even a few of the bullets missed. Now, don't get me wrong, this is not foolproof. I mean, you, the guy could get a lucky shot in, but what I'm trying to do is increase your chances of survival in this type of particular situation. Now remember, this is only gonna work if you're running away from the shooter in a, in a basic direction away from him. There's other techniques for uh, lateral or going towards the shooter, but for now, this is escaping away from the shooter where he's directly behind you. And like I said, there's two things that determine how you're going to fight. One is the situation, two is the environment. David had no choice but to run for that door. And in this case, he finally got the technique right and he came away with only an arm injury. And of course, we're just trying to increase the odds of survival. 
Be a hard target. 